The WTA Finals underway. We've had some controversy with the court and the location of the WTA Finals in Cancun. And some of the players are very unhappy with the court surface, but also with the location and the last minute decision from the WTA. Let's go have a look at what the players had to say. So this is what world number one Sabalenka had to say. Honestly, it's another level of disrespect from the WTA for the players. Sometimes I don't even feel safe to move on this court. That's not the level I expect from the WTA Finals. Thank you for this challenge I'm facing right now or having to learn to adapt quickly to the conditions. Thank you for that. But this is not something I expect from such a high level tournament. Marketo von Drusseva also had criticisms saying, my first WTA finals is not at all what I imagined. We work hard all year to get to the finals and in the end, it's just disappointment. The stadium is not at all ready for the matches and to me, it feels like the people from WTA are absolutely not interested in how we, who are supposed to play on that court, feel. We do not feel that anyone listens to us or are interested in our opinion. It's very sad. On the other note, I'm really grateful to all the people here in Mexico for being so nice and very helpful with everything. And this is what Igor Fiontek had to say. Obviously, it's not a positive thing for any of us. I think the main thing is not focusing on that and just doing your job. Sometimes it bounces weirdly on clay or grass as well. I try to think in that perspective and just do my job. For sure, it's not comfortable the fact we also didn't have time to practice on this court you know but at the end it doesn't really matter because all of us have the same court and the same conditions and also Alina Rabakina spoke out as well saying overall it's not easy here everyone is struggling everyone is trying to do their best as I said I'm not really happy with the conditions and the setup of the tournament about the court I don't really want to talk but of course it's not good for sure not for the final eight because everyone was late and there was no time to fix anything you can see by the rallies and the shanks we both hit I think the quality of the match wasn't the greatest. But as I said, I tried to do my best. So there you have it. Some of the biggest players in the world, not happy. The Grand Slam champions of this year, not happy with the court. Some of them actually won. Of course, Fiontech and Sabalenka both won pretty simply in the end. And they're still criticizing what this uh, venue is like and what the court's like. Of course, they didn't have a court ready for the tournament as it started. So they had to build a court, build a stadium. And like the players were saying, they don't really have a chance to warm up on the court, figure out why it's not great. Not to mention the weather is starting to get really bad as well. So expect more criticisms as the week goes on. But what do you think of the WTA Finals? Do you think they've made the right choice going to Cancun? Do you think they could have gone somewhere else? And if so, where do you think they should have gone? But the players are not happy with the venue of the WTA Finals and what the WTA are bringing to them.